Good morning, tubers. So I thought I would do um, a lot of the interest with this sort of project is how much power can this sort of thing produce, like um, over a 12 hour period or whatever. So what I thought I would do is a real test. Um, I know I've done lots of little tests before, but people seem to be very interested on exactly how much power is created and where and when and why and whatever else. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I actually don't know how I'm gonna do this. Let's see if this will work. Can I put that down there? You're not going to be able to see both. Isn't that fantastic? Um, very little painting's gone into this, but that's all right. Move my wife's kitchen around. She always loves it. Oh, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and get the computer screen in shot, which you can't do. Uh. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna make my breakfast, two bits of toast, some Vegemite, why, what else would it be, and a coffee. Uh, this is, oh God, I suck at maths. Four o'clock last night, uh, four o'clock yesterday afternoon, till um, now, which is seven o'clock in the morning. So we've drawn 180 amp hours from the battery, so it's about four kilowatts and we're still at 26.16 volts. And we were remembering the video we did last night was at 28 volts, so it hasn't even dropped by two volts. Uh, the load itself is for 108 watts. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. So let's see what she goes up to. So that's a toaster down, that's a toaster on. Yeah, let me turn that on. Yeah, this will make us more, more professional. Turn the coffee machine on. If you want a cheap coffee machine to run off grid, that thing uses so little power, it's crazy. There you go, 2,400. Pulling 108 amps from the, 109 amps from the batteries. So that's the limit of that inverter. I'm surprised it hasn't clicked over yet. Still on battery power. So it just proves you can make breakfast. And, and they're two non, they're two substantial loads. They're not two little loads. And that's running the rest of the house as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that's the highest I've actually seen it is 109 amps draw from the battery. So I'll do some maths and leave it below, but work out that's the, probably the highest draw per cell I've seen. So I'm gonna do the maths and work out what the actual draw is. And that's the limit of the inverter too. So. It's never going to get any higher than that. So let's finish making some toast and then I'll go outside and I'm going to perform the same test as I did yesterday. Uh, I'm going to go and do battery voltages of each um, battery before the sun kicks in. And you know, it's the morning time, so it's, the, it's only it's seven o'clock in the morning. So the sun hasn't hit the panels for another two hours yet. Well, in winter anyway, I've got a couple of big trees in my neighbor's yard. But that's all right. So YouTube, I'll see you outside. Hey tubers, it's a bit hard to see, but they're my solar panels that charge my batteries and there's one more on the other side. But the sun is sort of behind those trees, yeah, yeah. We're only making about a three amps from the solar panels currently. So, I'll take you around to the battery shed and let's do some voltages. Okay guys, again, sorry about the noise, but it's where I am. So let's do this test again. Now this is 7.30ish in the morning. Just after I've made coffee and toast, I'm gonna to do the battery voltages. They are still under load. Uh, they are under load and under charge. So I'll show you both of those states in a second. So that's that one. Now I'm doing exactly the same route I did last night, so to speak. 
I'm trying to go a bit slower so each one gets a good reading. Um, Christopher, I did read your comment a couple of minutes ago. I like the idea of doing the resistance test within the leads and stuff like that. I just don't know how to do it. So I'll try and work that out for you and get that done. And UK Powerwall, I like your idea of checking this without a load. I will also do that for you this afternoon. And that's the only two questions I can remember off the top of my head, sorry guys. I know there's lots of questions and stuff, but I can't remember them all. And as a point of interest, I'm doing this from the same uh, from the same area of the batteries on each one. So it gives an accurate cross-section as possible on all the voltages. Uh, that one I just can't reach. I am hoping that you can seal this and I'm hoping the cable's not getting in the way of the camera lens. Rightio, that was the third, second pack finished. Now I'm gonna go to the third pack. Now one, one of these didn't show up yesterday because I can't see the camera at all from where I'm standing. And I don't really have a better way of doing it. Interesting if they had a multimeter that actually attached to a computer. There probably is one, I guess. Oh, I wish I could see that because I know this one didn't work last time. Oh, pulling those cables just a little bit. And that's the last one. So in battery voltage across the pack with my multimeter. I can't even see if that's working. Okay. So that's the battery voltage. Um, I don't even know if this computer's turned on. And if I turn the mouse on, it would also help. See, I even save power on my devices. The keyboard is even turned off. We'll sign that computer in. Okay, so now we are doing 3.4 amps. The volts is 26.2 volts on that device. You come over to the computer, uh, 26.17 volts, and we're pulling 232 watts from the grid at 12 amps. So that is another little real world test, I guess you'd call it, after a night, so 188 amp hours out of the batteries, so that's about 4 kilowatts. Uh, yesterday we did 206 in total. So I don't actually change this over till about 10 o'clock in the morning. So she's still got a couple of hours to go. And YouTube, as usual, if you've got any more questions, ask them below, like, rate, and subscribe, and share the out of this because I think it's awesome. Cheers, guys. Thank you.